Hey everybody, and welcome back to Watch Trading Academy. Now, it is 2023 and a lot has happened over the last few years. We have had some of the greatest watch trading years of our time, right? If you've been playing in the watch market, you have seen nothing but the crazy good press that watches have gotten, and more importantly, that watches have now become mainstream. are basically accepted by all people as an incredible uh, investment tool or ultimately a place to park some money. I mean, however you look at it, watches have become mainstream and it's been a fantastic thing for the watch industry. It's created continuous liquidity. More people are interested and even those that may have made, lost and kind of gotten out of the game will eventually come back because they see the value. So one of the biggest questions I've gotten all of 22 that I've decided to kind of answer is, is probably the, the one thing that most people struggle with the most when it comes to buying their watches. And it's not that they're not excited about buying watches or they don't want a nice watch or they're not willing to spend money, but really the biggest kind of block they have is, well, what happens when I want to sell it? What happens with how do I sell it? How do I ensure I'm not getting ripped off and shipping my watch to the wrong guy? And more importantly, like, where can I sell it? Because obviously when I bought my watch, I fought to buy cheap. Why would someone else want to buy it for a better profit from me? And so this big question and debate comes in as to like, where are some sources where I can sell my watch retail and ultimately get fair market value? Now, if you've already gone through the Watch Trading Academy course, then you already know some of these special places that I share in the course itself. If you haven't yet or, or don't know what our course is, we've been around since 2008 teaching people how to trade. Uh, and, and basically buy and sell watches, something that a lot of people don't really know how to do systematically as a business or as a hobby. They're doing it sporadically based on information on the internet. Instead, now we have one place that's been around since 2008, helping people learn this process step by step, how to avoid fakes and everything else. And you can join Watch Trading Academy in the link in the description. Or if you're not sure if watch trading is for you and you're just kind of shopping for your first watch, you can always take the free training in the description where we're gonna break down for you basically how to understand if watch trading is for you or not and some of the things you need to know before getting started. So do those two things as you get a chance. But let's talk about this very controversial topic as to where do I sell my watches? I don't have a network, I'm fairly new. I don't know how to get exposure for my watches. So there are three locations I'm going to give you today. I'm gonna to give you three secrets that I have been using extensively well and has worked in bringing premium dollars for my watches. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through these three here on my screen. Uh, the first one, which is one of the most notoriously well-known platforms, we're gonna look right here. We have Chrono24. So Chrono24 is a really good marketplace because you can see and have view on a lot of watches from a lot of jewelers and a lot of private sellers. The majority I would say are probably jewelers, you know, but you can search basically anything you want, such as we can search here Paddock 5980 1R, and it gives us even suggestions, which is great to kind of go on here and see uh, for ourselves, kind of like what, what people are selling. Now this is important because it gives us a good gauge and view on the types of prices people are selling these watches for. Now the reason I said this is important is because by having a good view on these prices and, and how it's working out here, the, this works out well because you can tell if by listing your watch here, you're going to be competitive with what's on here. Now you never need to be the lowest to sell, but you certainly should be competitive. So you can always go and filter here by newest listing, or you can filter here by uh, low. I usually go low to high, it gives you an idea of what's being listed. Now one thing I recommend doing on the search if you're doing that is basically go to the watch itself because you see it, it pulls all the variations and then click the actual reference number here so you can see the exact watch and see what values are coming up here. And again, make sure to always go in and cycle from low to high. And you'll see that the numbers here, again, 180, 195 for this watch. Now, if I was selling this watch and, and I was trying to uh, sell my watch for, let's say, 250, this would probably not be the right place to list it because I can see plenty of competitors here in the low twos and therefore even brand new here for, two, for 215, it would just be awkward for me to list a 250K watch and sit on it forever. It's just not a good idea, but this is a good gauge to see 
if the value you want for your watch will come true and more importantly also understand what others are asking and what you're competing with in the marketplace this is really important this is also a good measure of pricing today when buying right like are you buying at the right margin like a teaching and watch trading academy at a dollar fair enough uh where you're going to build a margin like i buy this particular watch currently for in the mid 150 so if i was going to buy it for that and I was gonna list it here for maybe 175, I would automatically be the lowest listing here. It would make sense for a selling platform for this particular model. I found that Chrono 24 works very well for high-end pieces, not that that well for base or very low-end under 20K pieces, but it has worked spectacularly for high-end watches for me and I'm sharing it with you today. Another place to actually um, sell watches, and it's something that you may not have heard of, is a place called GrailZ. Now, I like GrailZ because it's a very streamlined auction site. So you can actually go here and see the auctions. These are the auctions currently running. Uh, it tells you basically, these are actually, I think, uh, these are the closed ones, I'm sorry. So here you basically see all the auctions that have completed. This is a really good place to get um, market value for your watch because obviously auction sites are more exciting. They're ultimately able to get you uh, what the watch will bring is people bid on it. Now, GrailZ has a lot of exposure to the outside world, which are like bidders that are not necessarily watch flippers or watch traders, as well as uh, communities of watch traders and watch flippers that know about it. Uh, our own community, Watch Trading Academy, uses it quite often uh, to list watches and sell watches. But this is a good example, for example, of a, of a type of site where you can get people that are real uh, end users to basically bid each other up on a watch. Now, I want to point out something, for example, because I actually sold a, a watch on here as well uh, recently, and I want to bring it up here. So this Panerai is an example. is a really, really good bid. You see it sold for $23,800. Uh, very, very exciting number for this watch. This is a 17K uh, wholesale watch. You know, historically, you can buy one for around 19 to 20K retail so, you know, again, it brought real, real uh, retail value here for 23.8, meaning this is an end user who bought it uh, because this is listing on sites somewhere between 25 and 27. So it brought all the money. And this is a good example of how they facilitate the transaction for you. So you don't have to worry about authentication. You don't have to worry about things like that. So if you sell a watch on here, they'll require you to ship it to an authentication center who will verify it, print a report to ensure it was in the description uh, as described, and then they will get uh, proof of funds and wire stuff and will make sure you're paid and everything is kosher before actually sending uh, and shipping the watch out uh, on your behalf. So the risk factor, the authentication, the fact that they look out for scammers and things like that is fantastic and they've worked out to be a great resource to sell for market value. Now, like I said, sometimes you're gonna find it uh, very easy to find some great numbers on here. And other times you're gonna find that uh, the numbers just don't add up. I mean, a good example here also is I sold another watch on here, uh, this one right here. Again, this is all the money too, 109,500. That's basically 110,000 for a watch I can buy today for around 95. So a good, very exciting, again, 15K margin here uh, from a site that it seems fairly new, but again, these guys really know what they're doing. They've done a good job. So the other place and the last place I wanna share with you guys today is uh, eBay. So eBay is also a really good place to sell, especially from a view standpoint. This is really important. So the view standpoint is that a lot of people use eBay. Obviously we know that eBay is a very powerful tool and you would be surprised to see that even Richard Mill expensive watches are actually listed on eBay. Like you'll see a lot of fakes here, you see 355, et cetera, but you also see 400K, 300K watches, 200K watches openly listed here. And this is the excitement and the beauty of, uh, that I really love about eBay is you can really see that people are using eBay and even jewelers care to list their watches on here to get views. Now I have found in most cases that it's very easy, like for example, to click a listing on eBay and see, for example, people's names uh, contact them or basically find them on Instagram or somewhere else uh, and, and ultimately avoid doing the transaction on eBay. But because there are so many people on eBay, it's such a great place to list a watch for sale and get a ton of views on the actual watch itself. 
I found it very effective for cheaper watches. Like if you just type in Panerai, you'll see so many people list their Panerais for sale. So it's a very popular platform for under 10,000 even to transact on it. The only downfall of selling on eBay is you run into having to pay sales tax in most cases uh, and also having the uh, issue with uh, in, in some cases they have an authentication center. And if, if that authentication center, for example, doesn't like uh, the fact that you have one screw that was replaced or the box isn't perfect as described, whatever, they may try to basically hinder your sales. So I don't necessarily love selling on eBay, but I love getting views from my eBay listings that make sense. So in order of preference, I would say that my top choices and where to sell would definitely be Grail Z from a platform standpoint, high-end watches on Chrono, and of course, low-end ones on eBay. So again, this has been uh, hopefully an informative video for you guys to understand exactly where you can go to sell watches once you learn how to trade them. Again, don't forget to click the link in the description and get exactly what you need so you can be successful doing this and not just assume that by knowing where to, where to sell the watch, you now figured it out. There's a lot to this trade and I wanna short curb that, that time it takes for you guys to learn how to do this. So click the link in the description. Of course, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Let me know in the comments if there's another place you really love and you've used, you've used with actual success when trading watches. Uh, so looking forward to the next video and I'll catch you next time for Watch Trading Academy.